In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, what are the different kinds of fiction books? You may have been reading lots of different books over the last few weeks. Some of the books many of you have been reading are stories that are not necessarily true. Some of the books you have read are actual facts about something that is real. Today, I want to teach you that books that have stories that are not true are called fiction books and can be categorized into genres like science fiction, realistic fiction, mystery, fantasy, historical fiction, and several others. Fiction books are not true stories. Though the ideas may have come from experiences, that really happened. Some characteristics of fiction books include contains characters, plot, and setting, usually has a theme or a message, told from the narrator's, narrator's po point of view, sometimes has illustrations. There are actually different categories of fictional text, both novels and picture books. We can classify these books by more detailed characteristics. And we're going to begin a genre anchor chart, either in our notebooks or somewhere in our room on the wall. First is science fiction. Books that tell about supernatural events. Fantasy based on science. Fantasy is number two. Books that contain unrealistic elements, such as Charlotte's Web. Historical fiction. A story that seems real and takes place in the past or in history. The author may use actual people or events, but some of the story came from the imagination. Four, traditional literature. Stories that were passed down orally throughout history. They include folk tales, fairy tales, myths, and legends. Fairy tales have magic in them. Folk tales are just old stories that people tell, and sometimes they have a lesson in them. Now let's have a fiction sort. This can either be an activity that you do now or do later in book clubs or do as a discussion activity. Either way, here are the directions. Have students sit in groups of three to four and share the book that they're currently reading. Explain to your classmates whether you are reading a fiction or nonfiction book. If it is fiction, tell what category you would place it in on the genre chart and why. My goal is that you have time to talk and come up with the genre and reasoning for the genre that you place your book in. Your book club teammates can also help you if you are unsure. Remember, fiction books are not true stories, though the ideas may have come from experiences that really happened. Today's book talk book is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. August, Augie Pullman, was born with a severe facial difference that, up until now, has prevented him from going to a mainstream school. Starting fifth grade at Beecher Prep, Augie wants nothing more than to be treated as an ordinary kid but his new classmates can't get past his extraordinary face. Wonder begins from Augie's point of view, but soon switches to include the perspectives of his classmates, his sister, her boyfriend, and others. These voices converge to portray a community as it struggles with differences and challenges readers, both young and old, to wonder about the nature of empathy, compassion, acceptance, friendship, and ultimately kindness. Augie is a hero for the ages, one who proves that you can't blend in when you were born to stand out. So if you want to look out, look at this book, you might want to check out your library. As you go to your reading spots today, I want you to think about the genre of your book. Look for certain characteristics that make it a historical fiction realistic fiction or fantasy book. Also, remember to stop a couple of times and make a prediction about what might happen next. 